thank you for listening to my talk, and I really am honored uh, uh, to be able to do, be doing this for the first time. Um, my name is John Christensen, and today I'm going to talk about a little introduction myself, and I'm going to pack everything into Angular for newcomers and also for uh, just a review for people who are very familiar with this stuff into just these little points, and hopefully I get it accurate, but we'll see. Um, my name's John, I'm a software engineer at Limble, and I also teach an adjunct, uh, adjunct classes at BYU and also SNHU. Um, so the first uh, part is data binding. Data binding is, uh, has three types. We have two-way uh, two binding, gives us the ability to share data across parent and child components. And this is an important feature for all uh, JavaScript frameworks to be able to pass um, parents uh, to to children and to emit up to the parent. Um, property binding in Angular helps you set values for properties of HTML elements or directives. And then event binding lets you listen for and respond to user actions. And I have this little video here just showing the, how the binding kind of works. I'm not going to play it, but you can kind of see that as you type, it interacts. Uh, services. Services are amazing because they allow, let us uh, decouple the code um, and make them easier for um, unit testing, and by being able to identify our operation first and make it single responsibility by putting everything in a single responsibility service, we can then implement uh, re reusable cookie cutter chunks in our service and be able to unit test them easily rather than have it all in a component. Um, here's an example of a service. We have a data service. It gets data like from an API or something, data one, data two, data three, and it allows us to post uh, posts or manipulate. Um, and again, like why services? Better manageable testing, modularity and reusability. Uh, it's a single source of truth. It better set up for asynchronous operation and then set up for dependency injection. And that uh, segues into the last talk, which was really good. Dependency injection is amazing. I love and be able to import your service into a component uh, through dependency injection and also that inject um, feature that we learned about. Um, so here you have a hero service uh, from the documentation and you just by putting it right there, it's available throughout the entire file and you don't have to do import at the top or anything, just through the constructor, boom, it's there. And then that segues into directives. Um, directives add extra functionality to your standard HTML elements. So an example is like you have your tooltip and you say tooltip equals. That's the normal HTML at the bottom left. But Angular directives allow you to, um, just in, a, in the case of a, um, like a tooltip, you can customize um, your HTML functionality. Things such as mentions, such as uh, tooltips, such as language translations through a HTML content editable div. You cannot do, use all of that through directives, and it's a very powerful tool. So thank you so much, and I really appreciate your time.